Good morning and welcome to my bathroom. It is June and summer is here and with the changing seasons comes a change for with the needs of our skin and the skincare we use. So many of you have been asking me for my morning skincare routine and so finally I brought my camera into my bathroom again. So welcome to my bathroom and we'll go over my skincare routine. It is quite different um, in the sense that actually my son has stolen some of my physical exfoliants. He has taken my um, the uh, exfoliating polish by Zia, which is a physical exfoliant as well as my complexion renewal pad. So that tends to not be in my bathroom. And the reason why I have not repurchased is, exciting news, I've partnered with Zio, so uh, it's coming. It will be available for you on my website, so you can shop Zio on my website. And so until all of that merchandise arrives, Sunday, what's the matter? But I also thought that was a great opportunity to move away from physical exfoliation into chemical exfoliation because I know from the comments some of you are not in the tribe of physical exfoliation, which is just fine. Um, just like in the dermatology community, there are physicians who are for physical exfoliation, like obviously Dr. Obaji, and then there's another group of dermatologists that prefer phys um, chemical exfoliation. And that's fine, it's whatever is your personal preference. So today will be phys uh, chemical exfoliation only. I'm not gonna do any physical exfoliation, so I'll show you what that looks like. And there's one new ingredient that has simplified my life and taken away my hydrator. So that makes it nice and, well, one step quicker. Before we get started, also in the news of my world, you might be able to see my eyebrows are crazy dark. I just had them microbladed for the first time ever. And while I love how they look, I have to say not getting water on them for two weeks is a challenge. And I am in that stage right now. So I will show you an alternative way of washing your face. If you can't get it all wet, whether you're microblading or you have a cut or an injury or whatever the reason may be. So I use a muslin cloth and I love these because as you can see, they're very transparent, very thin, and they do have texture to them. So there's a little bit of abrasion, but it's very, very light and gentle. So I get that wet and sometimes I just splash water on my face, but just on the lower half. So I get the cloth wet. I am using two cleansers that has not changed. One goes in the shower and one goes on my vanity. So lately I am using the oxygen infusion wash and I love this one because it has alpha hydroxy acid. So it actually gives you a little bit of a um, an exfoliation through the chemical route. And because I'm using a cloth and it's staying on my face longer than it would if you just put it on and you know splash it on and take it right off, it actually does something. So I just put a little bit on here and I kind of massage it around. I will tell you one thing that's nice about using a cloth is you can easily uh, wash your neck without dripping water everywhere. So it's it's nice and clean. It doesn't leave your vanity or your shirt sopping wet. Then what I do is just rinse this off and I do that a few times until I can feel there's no more soap on my face. Then I wash this and squeeze out the water and just let it dry. And when I'm doing laundry, I put it in one of those little um, 
mesh bags and just wash it once in a while. So now my face is just slightly humid. It's not even really wet. And the first thing I've been applying, we're going with the theme of chemical exfoliation. So normally I would have done the polish and the exfoliating pounds, but because I haven't had those, what I've been using is the Zeo Skin Health Exfoliation Accelerator. This is a 10% glycolic acid that obviously is, it's a serum, so it stays on your face. So that's in place of the complexion renewal pads and the physical exfoliation. So I take two pumps, oops, well, actually not two pumps, more like one and a half. And I just run that through. I avoid the nares, the corners of the nose, obviously the eyes and the corners of the mouth because it is an acid. I have to really be careful to avoid my eyebrows, which is always a challenge. I realize by doing the microblading that I actually always apply skincare over my eyebrows. So new habits, developing new habits. Now I did a video my last video or one of my recent videos was on hand care and how to keep your hands youthful. And I forgot to mention one thing, which I do. So go back, I'll link that video down below if you're interested, if you don't want your hands to age because our hands are one of the first to show our age. Sometimes our face looks 20 years younger, but our hands don't. So there's tips and tricks in there. But the other tip is all my skincare that I use, I then rub into the backs of my hands. And so that way you get some medical quality, medical grade, high quality skincare going into the backs of the hands. And you can apply, I mean, I wouldn't apply glycolic acid on here. I don't recommend exfoliating the hands, but just a little bit. Same with retinols, peptides, everything that goes on your face, it's certainly not gonna harm your hands and definitely help them a little bit at least. So now what I will do is apply my new favorite product. If I was to get one skincare product that's pricey, it would literally be this one. This is the Alto Advanced. It's a new release from Skin Better Science. It's essentially the Alto reformulated into something that literally deserves to be in a gold bottle. This is so incredible. It's technically the same as the original Alto, but it has four additional ingredients, which include niacinamide, a stabilized form of arginine, which is also found in the neck cream, Techno Neck, and um, two DNA repair enzymes. But the way this is formulated, or these ingredients make this so lightly hydrating, it is absolutely magical. It goes on like a very lightweight lotion, but it's so hydrating and it keeps that hydration. Usually I've never used lightweight lotions because they're not enough for me and I need more hydration, but with this, it's absolutely incredible. It really hydrates your skin. So I take about, again, one and a half pumps. I think I find two is always too much for me, so I do more one and a half and I kind of pat it in everywhere and then I will rub it through or massage it in. I do go under the eyes with this because why not? It's amazing. And if you're not one for eye creams, this is an amazing product to use on face and under eye area. As I let this dry, I always let my skincare fully dry before I will apply sunscreen. Sometimes I will go in with Even uh, from Skin Better Science. And the reason I'm using this is because my hyperpigmentation is coming out. Summer is just starting, so I don't really like to use hydroquinone during the summer. I usually leave that for the end of the summer. So right now um, I am using this. And what's really cool about this is it corrects pigmentation, but not only the brown spots that most of us think of when we think of hyperpigmentation. If your skin is a little sallow, if you've got more yellowish tones, yellowish tones, or um, reddish tones, it actually is designed to correct um, 
the discoloration and it has ingredients to target all of that brown spots yellowish skin reddish skin it's got calming and soothing properties so again about one and a half and i if i'm in a hurry i won't put this on but if i have the time to do a full skincare routine like i'm doing for you this morning i will definitely apply this in exactly the same manner And you can bring this around the eyes if you feel you've got discoloration. Um, you can go on your orbital bone or your periorbital area and apply this. And I don't apply this on my neck because I feel there's no need. And for the neck area, I've been using the Techno Neck Perfecting Cream. And this cream uh, has a stabilized form of arginine and what arginine is is a precursor to nitric oxide and once our body produces nitric oxide it dilates the blood vessels and increases blood flow so essentially this product helps increase blood flow to the neck through the through facilitating the production of nitric oxide and the key ingredient in this is the stabilized form of arginine because arginine is very difficult to stabilize so they found as some sort of way to stabilize it and to achieve these results. So again, I do actually do two pumps on the neck and I usually, I'm not wearing this shirt when I'm applying my neck cream, but I will, I usually lift my little necklace and just go down a little bit onto the, onto the chest. So two pumps is perfect for that. So that's it for skincare. The next thing I'm gonna apply is sunscreen. And so before I ever apply sunscreen, I let my skincare fully, fully dry. I will apply my eye cream first because I do enjoy using it. While I say it's not absolutely necessary, it also definitely helps. Um, so one of my favorites, you know this one, it's the Elastin Restorative Eye Treatment. I also love the Interfuse lines, and at night I love the Eye Max. It's the only one I've been using. So just a teeny tiny amount, and dab on the bone, never on the eyelid. Um, the skin is so thin and our eyes move so much from opening and closing the eyes that the product will transfer onto your eyelid, but just enough to keep you safe and make sure none of the product actually gets in your eyes. Now, normally I would tap, tap, tap all around, but I can't, so I won't. <laughs> and I'll just go underneath. And that's it. So next we're gonna do skincare. Um, I can hear my dog crying for his ball, so I will go rescue the ball from underneath the bed. And by then my skin will be dry and we will do the sunscreen. Now on to sunscreen. Now I have so many different sunscreens, but I have to tell you the ones I reach for the most are honestly these two. I love so many of them, but just um, I think this one out of convenience and the SPF 75 and also the ease of application. This one is a no fuss application. And so I think that's why I really, really like it. Um, and this is the Color Science Flex. And this one, when I want my skin to look really flawless um, for videos, for work, for going anywhere, I don't wear foundation. This is my foundation. And for me, it's enough. I've never been a full coverage kind of girl. So if you're light to medium coverage, this may be enough. And then I have been loving these Sun Forgettable Color Balms. I have this one in blush and there's a like a raspberry pink one that I want to get. And I put, I'll show you, I put this on my cheeks and it's extra protection literally right where I get melasma. I'm doubling up on sunscreen. Now let's talk about um, how much to apply. Skin Better Science says one, really to two pumps, I try to do two because I go down to my neck, is enough. And you know, the story of the teaspoon measurement, I don't really buy into that because the formulations are different between different companies, the concentrations are different between different companies. 
So it's not a one fits all because every product is different. So I think you actually have to ask each company how much they recommend of their product because they did the tests on their product and they know how much it is that you need. So Skin Better Science, one to two pumps, two pumps I extended to my neck. Um, with the lotion, it's a little sticky. If you know it, then you know. And that is done intentionally. The reason why they made it sticky and they say warm it up in your hands before you apply is because if it doesn't glide so easily as the ones with silicones, that way you actually apply more on your skin because it's tacky. So you leave a thicker layer. And then if it's a super easy swipe and glide, then the layer can be very, very thin and you don't get enough sunscreen. So their technology uh, was to make it more sticky so that more goes on as you're applying it um, and that way you get the appropriate amount of coverage. So I do the same thing. I just dab it on and then I'll kind of run it through everywhere. And then I go down my neck as well. And then I sort of just connect the dots. You can see it's tinted, but it's very, it's a very light tint. That's another reason why I love it because it's so easy to blend. And I take it all the way up towards my eye. Of course, I don't, I don't touch my lashes, but up high, which is one reason why I really want my skincare to soak in and settle in because I don't want to be smearing it around and mixing it with sunscreen. I want it to be set. Okay, so now I'm just going to blend this. And because this is so sticky, I find that patting it actually kind of applies it better than trying to smear it around. And it actually works really, really well. So then the last bit is to take whatever's left and apply it to my hands. But then I, I actually do apply it, a pump to half a pump to my hand. And I just mix the backs of my hands together. And then what I do is I wash just the palms and because the sunscreen's water resistant, it stays on. And that's one way to get a protection on my hands from the morning because I can see my hands are aging. And I wanna show you one other sunscreen that I really like for my arms and body. And that is the stick. So this one I'm really using frequently too. Not as frequently on my face, but it's so easy to, it's the stick. And the formulation of this is so nice and it's not sticky and it's not greasy and the protection is great. And it doesn't have a white cast, I'll show you. So I just run it down my arm and that's what I love about it, it's just how easy it is. So I've, I've, I've applied a thick coat and there you go. So you can see it, but you can't exactly call this a white cast because as soon as you just distribute it, it absolutely absorbs in. So this is a favorite of mine for just small body parts. Obviously I wouldn't apply this to my legs. It would take forever and it would use up the whole product. So I don't do that. And then I run whatever's left down my, down my hands. But this is a favorite. And that's it, I'm ready to go. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any microblading uh, post care advice, I'd love to hear it because I'm new at this um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions on any of the products and see you soon. Bye. I forgot the one last little thing. I forgot to apply the stick. So let me show you how I do it. I just literally run through until I get enough color to make it look like a blush. And that's why I want to get the berry color so that way it will match various makeup looks. And then just with my finger, I kind of blur out the margins and I get extra sun protection right where I get melasma, which is awesome. Supernatural blush. So yeah, I am a fan of that product. There you go.